Hello everybody, I hope that you are well. Tomorrow I am off on my big backpacking adventure. I'm so excited, I've got a 24 hour flight first thing in the morning. It's currently about 2 p.m. So I've got a bit of time today where I'm going to be packing and I'm gonna be showing you what's in my backpack for seven months abroad. My plan is to do Australia for six weeks, then I think Philippines for a month, Indonesia for quite a few months. So everywhere that I'm going is really hot actually, so that's great because I can just bring minimal bulky clothing and hopefully just stuff a lot more summer clothes in there and for this trip I am very excited to say that I have a brand new backpack honestly it is my favorite so far I have been wanting this backpack for such a long time it is the Osprey Europe Xena 85 I think that's how you say it and I have had some great backpacks in the past but I have honestly been eyeing Osprey backpacks on other backpackers forever. I just think they look so, 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 so beautiful and like so well made. Um, I've just never got around to actually getting one. But I reached out to Osprey, told them how in love I was with their backpack, and they very kindly sent me the one that I wanted. And so I'm just like, this is gonna be my new best friend <laughs> for the next seven months. You and me, we're gonna have adventures together. So firstly, I'm gonna show you around this backpack, all the features and why I've chosen it for this trip. Then I'm gonna tell you everything that I am packing for the trip, and then I'll show you how I'm going to be packing it into this bag. So the first thing to note about this bag, the key is in the name Xena 85. It's 85 litres large. Normally the backpacks I've got in the past are 65 litres, which is about the average I'd say for a backpacker. But for me, I'm, I'm not a minimalist. If you've seen my videos before, you know that. It's just not quite enough. I can stuff everything into a 65 litre, but it's just always absolutely rammed and it's really hard to pack my backpack. And so I thought, I'll go with a bigger one and then I just won't pack it up to the brim, she says. I will try to not pack it up to the brim, but also because I know I'm gonna be buying stuff along the way. Australia does the most beautiful clothes and as well as oh, I'm gonna be in Bali and I wanna, I wanna get play suit. So yes, tell me off if I end up packing this all the way to the top because I'm not allowed. So this backpack comes in purple and canopy green and I went for the canopy green because it's not actually green it's this beautiful beautiful teal color I'm so glad I went with this I just think the color is absolutely perfect and I love that the material it just feels good quality you know you, you don't feel like you've got something cheap you feel like you've got something long-lasting by the way I have just filled this with two pillows so that I can show you a little bit easier this backpack is absolutely humongous on the inside but you can also attach so many things to the outside it just gives you the opportunity to add so much more to it and that's what it's designed for as well we clip open the top now this top bit here this is actually detachable so I can take this off as well and that becomes its own separate little bag but I think for the most part it's gonna be staying on the top of my bag and we've got a drawstring here open that up so you can see the pillows that I've got in here you can also access the same big space from the bottom so you just zip it open here and there is a divider here which does mean that they are separate but you can take away the divider if you need to I currently haven't decided if I'm gonna take away that divider yet I know I did on my previous bag but we'll see how the packing goes um, but I definitely think I'll be putting my shoes down at the bottom here we've got three quite flat pockets on the front so there's this one where you can stick something in here you've got one identical on the other side which you can stick something flat on and then this pocket right in the middle you unclip this and then there's this one in the middle here. Now this one is sort of meshy on the front and I think that's designed for when you have wet clothing or something that just needs to be a little bit aired you can put in there. So I'm thinking of storing my Mac in there or if I've worn a bikini which is wet stick that in there but I'll go into that in more detail a bit later. We've got loads and loads of straps and buckles around the side so like I said just so easy to attach as much as you want to it. There's even a little feature here and here designed so you can stick walking poles through it. I'm not going on that type of trip so I won't have walking poles but if you do perfect. Now the back this is one of my favorite features of the backpack or several of these features. So firstly you have an H2O pocket so that you can put uh, your camel back in if you have one. I don't think I'm actually going to be bringing one on this trip but in the future if I do big hiking trips that's really really good. The whole backpack is designed specifically for women which means that the shoulders are a little bit narrower so it just fits so much nicer on your back and also this is the first time I've experienced this. There's actually two different sizes of back strap that you can get so completely customizable in terms of how tall you are so I think I'm small medium the other option was medium large and there's actually a whole app 
where you can completely measure your back. It tells you exactly what to do and it will tell you which size to go for. And I just thought that is so advanced. And I'm not just saying this, it is the comfiest backpack I have ever worn. And it just, it fits my back like a glove. And I know that despite the fact that I may have a little bit more in because there's more space, it's just gonna feel so nice and weightless because none of the weight is really in my shoulders. It's all on my hips, which is where it's supposed to be. I should also mention there is a small pocket on each hip belt as well. So if you want to put super accessible things in there, you can. I'm not too sure if I will yet, but it's nice to know that that option's there. But one thing that I should mention is it doesn't come with a rain cover, you need to get that separately. And I think it's water resistant, but not completely waterproof. So I would recommend getting a rain cover as well to go over the top so that if you are caught in a monsoon or something, that all your stuff's not gonna get wet. So that is my new backpack. I am so stoked. Um, I'm excited to fill it up actually and see how we go. Um, so now I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm packing in my backpack. I have arranged it all already onto this bed. Some of it's in packing cubes, some of it's not. A lot of you may know how much I love packing cubes. If something in my bag is not in a packing cube, it's not in the right place. I like to just have everything organized and easy to find. So I'm gonna show you what's in my bag, packing cube by packing cube, and then we'll try and stick it in the backpack. So of course we're gonna start with my clothes. This large blue packing cube is going to be home to all of my bottoms. So my skirts, my trousers, and my shorts. And on this trip, I'm going to be bringing these trousers, which are amazing for daytime and nighttime. They're super thin and breathable, and they just really easily make an outfit look put together. I've got these floral collots, I think they're called collots. Uh, definitely more evening wear, but again, they're so thin and airy, they'll be amazing in the hot weather. And these thin trousers are amazing, especially when you want to be a bit more conservative on a night out. I've got this big pink maxi skirt which I'm absolutely in love with. I like to always bring a big maxi skirt because I just find myself wearing them all the time when I'm away in hot countries. I've also got this black floral maxi skirt with a slit down it which is definitely more of an evening thing but to be honest I've worn it in the day as well and definitely got away with it. I just think it looks so nice. I have a coral corduroy mini skirt and then onto shorts we've got my navy sort of fake denim day shorts. I've got these yellow stripy ones which are really nice for the daytime. I've got these black and white stripy shorts which I like to call my party shorts, I think they're fun. I've got these other black and white shorts which are much softer, much stretchier, and these are like kind of beach shorts slash, I'd also wear these as pajamas to bed. And the same goes for these shorts here, they're just stretchy, floaty, can wear them to the beach, can wear them to bed. We of course have a pair of Aladdin pants. I can't go on any trip without these. This year I've been a bit boring. I've just gone for a pair of black ones. Normally I go for some fun ones, but um, yeah, I was just feeling the black ones this year. And finally, I've got some running shorts. I hope to do at least a little bit of exercise whilst I'm away and it's definitely gonna be too warm for leggings. So just some little Gymshark running shorts for that. And that is all of my bottoms. I've been asked in the past if I'm a roller or a full or a flat packer. I just like to fold my clothes as flat as possible and then just layer them up. I just find that works best for me. Arguably rolling does make your clothes the smallest that they can be, but I just find it an absolute pain to roll up your clothes every single time that you're packing. Because that's the thing with backpacking, you're literally packing up your stuff every single day. So yes, it's all well and efficient to get things as small as possible, but if that's not fast and effective for you, it's gonna really annoy you every day. <laughs> so find a technique that works for you, that condenses your stuff as small as it can be, but is also fast and you can do it really easily. And now we're gonna be moving on to tops. And I've got this purple big packing cube for my tops. And I'm also going to be putting my play suits in this packing cube as well. I'm gonna start with my t-shirt. So I've got this white one that says lost in a world that doesn't exist. To be fair, I mostly just wear this as a pajama top, but I could wear it in the daytime as well. We'll see how it goes. I have my black Levi's one, which kind of just goes with everything. And then we've got my favorite t-shirt. Let's go bananas, so on brand. Then we've got my workout t-shirts, again, for when I do decide to actually work out. Um, both of mine are from Lululemon, which is pricey, but such good quality, and I'm obsessed with all of their products. And then we have the main event of my tops, and that is my crop tops. If you know me well, you will know that I just live in crop tops, basically. So I've got this white and navy striped one, which I probably wear the most. I have a red and white stripy one. I have a plain black one with sleeves and then a plain black one with straps. We've got my blue and white 
stripy one. We've got a light pink strappy one and also just a plain white strappy one. And my new favorite crop top, of course, this very, very colorful off the shoulder one. And then I also have a few crop tops which are like super cropped. They're basically just a bra, but you can definitely wear them as a top. I'd say more evening wear. But underneath, I wear this really good tight crop from House of CB. It's just a great thing to wear that keeps my boobies in place. And then over the top, I either wear the dark pink one or the white one. And then we're on to play suits. Normally I have so many more play suits, but I was kind of looking at all of them thinking, yeah, I'm just over some of them. I'm really ready for some new play suits and that's the kind of thing that I want to buy whilst I'm away. But I do have three which I still wear, still love. There's my navy black and white one. I'm obsessed with this play suit. It's amazing for day, going into the night as well. I just think it's a really good piece. It's from Sissy Beach, Australia. Then we've got this very colorful and black one. This is mainly just good for nights out. And they quite literally just a plain black play suit which is amazing for the daytime and the nighttime to be fair. It looks good on all occasions and that's the kind of clothes you want to take back backpacking because you don't have very many and that is my packing cube for tops so the purple packing cube can be zipped up and these aren't actually too full which is good it's good keeps them flexible and easy to pack I hope and I do have a couple of new packing cubes as well from Osprey also I chose them in this lime green color because I just thought you'd be able to see them so easily in my bag and they're really awesome they're super lightweight super thin and they feel really soft which is odd for the plastic material but I'm not complaining so I got the pack of three and in this smallest one I've got all of my pants and socks I've got ten pairs of pants and then I think four pairs of socks. I plan on doing my washing like what, once a week? And then you still wanna be able to wear some pants whilst you're doing the washing. Um, so you're not going commando. I don't like going commando. I don't understand people who can do that. And then in this one, we have all of my bras. So I literally don't have any wired bras. I find them the most uncomfortable thing Ever. I literally just wear these soft, low impact sports bras. So I have a lilac one, a black one, a gray one, and the purple one I'm gonna be wearing on the plane. I have a white one as well in here. So my underwear is fitting perfectly into these two. Then in these two, which as you can see, I have already packed is all of my swimwear. And I know that seems a bit excessive, but I'm literally gonna be in swimwear every single day of this trip, or at least 95% of the time. So I do think it's necessary that I have a lot of it. But more specifically, I have three swimsuits, one black, one yellow, and one coral. I've got two rash vests. This is for surfing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of surfing whilst I'm in Australia and hopefully in the Philippines as well. And then I've also got my long sleeve wetsuit top. Hopefully this is what I'll be wearing when I'm scuba diving in Indonesia. And in this one, I basically just have all of my bikinis. I think I have about five bikini tops and five bikini bottoms, but it's very, very mismatched. None of them go together, but that's kind of my style. And a lot of these bikinis you may have seen before. If you've seen my grease videos, uh, it's mostly just old bikinis. And then the final packing cube, which is the third Osprey one, the biggest Osprey one that I have. Um, it's kind of just miscellaneous clothing and other soft items. So I've got my sarong. I've literally had this for five or six years now and it's just my absolute go-to. I use this as a towel when I go to the beach. I just use it as a cover. Or if you're going to a temple and you just need to be a little bit more covered up, I think it's so useful to have a sarong. So yes, this is just my go-to. I'm packing my towel in here. So this is a large trekking towel. Highly recommend these when you're going backpacking to use as your bath towel just because they dry really quickly and they absorb really well and they pack up so small. Yes, they're not the most luxurious, but you do not have room to pack a proper big towel in there. So so these are the ones to go for. I'm popping my laundry bag in here, very important. So all of my dirty clothes, this is a bag that just folds out. I'm also putting this other bag in here. It's basically just a thin shopper bag. And it's basically just a bag that I can either take to the beach or if I do some shopping at the supermarket and I don't wanna use plastic bags, it's just like, an extra bag for when I need it that just packs up so thin, so small. It hardly takes up any room in the bag, but it'll, I know that this will come in handy. And I've always wanted something like this when I've been on previous trips and been like, damn, why don't I just have a thin bag that I can just take out? So anyway, yes, I've got it. An eye mask. I don't often wear an eye mask, but there are occasions in hostels where there might just be like light shining in for whatever reason or on the plane, something's annoying you and those times I do want an eye mask, so I will be bringing this. And another extra bag that I'm bringing is this. It's a 20 litre dry bag. So basically if you go on a boat and things may be getting wet on board, 
you can stick everything, obviously it's all folded up right now, but you can stick everything in this bag and it will stay completely, completely dry. You can even like dunk these bags into the water and your stuff will not get wet. So these are actually really good to bring to the beach as well. And as well as that, uh, really random, I'm bringing a resistance band to tone my ass because I'm not gonna be going to the gym while I'm out there. I got this one from Grace Fit UK. She's a fitness blogger, Instagrammer, YouTuber, and she's amazing and I think I've talked about her before. But her resistance bands, her merch, has such good reviews and I personally am a strong believer of if your bum looks good, your whole body looks good. It doesn't matter if you put on a bit of weight or if you're a bit smaller than usual. If you've got a nice toned ass, I think your body looks great. That's just my theory. And that's what I tried to do for myself so that I'm body confident as possible. And that's it for this packing cube, I think. I definitely can fit more things in there, but we'll see if anything else comes up. But I mean, it's fine to leave it a little bit emptier than usual because it all squashed down anyway. I am bringing a raincoat, of course. This is one that packs up into this bag. It's really, really big, but I just wanted something that's going to be waterproof. It's going to go over everything when I'm just caught in rain and I don't really want to get wet. And I think this one's big enough that I can actually stick it over the top of my backpack as well. But I just think raincoats are absolutely essential wherever you go backpacking. I'm not going to be bringing an umbrella because they're just a bit of a fact. But also speaking of waterproofness, I have a waterproof cover, just a little fold away one which can go over the top of my Osprey backpack should I be caught in a lot of rain but it's good that it just folds up so small. And now I'm going to move on to toiletries. Yeah. So I'm bringing three bags. This one which is completely clear. This one which is kind of translucent. It's a fun colour. I bought it this morning. Um, and then we've got my makeup bag as well. So in this big one we have my deodorant, my razor. I just have this little travel one. Now I've got my shower gel, my shampoo and conditioner all in these 100ml squeezy bottles. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. I just didn't want to bring the really big bottles for everything. And I thought if anything that I can put in these squeezy bottles it's going to be this stuff. So shower gel, shampoo and conditioner. Sun cream of course. I've got a 20 20 and a 30 so I'm going to start off on the 30 and then hopefully once I get a bit of a base tan going then I can move down to the 20. We've got my body moisturizer very important I use this aloe vera one and also acts as like an after sun. I've got my tube of toothpaste along with my toothbrush which is also in here. I bought this little bottle of body spray I wanted to bring my perfume but it's just a really awkwardly shaped glass bottle for not much liquid and so I thought this one is just probably a much better use of space and it smells so good. I have a comb. I actually don't brush my hair ever. If you have curly or wavy hair well, you can probably relate but I thought maybe if one day I have a complete knot in my hair which I just really need to get out then yeah maybe this will be useful. And finally in this bag I have a bunch of tampons. I just wanted to stock up for at least the first month that I'm away. I've stuck them in an extra freezer bag to go inside of my toiletries bag because in the past I've just put them loose in there but then the plastic around them just goes really quite horrible when the items in this bag are a little bit wet so yeah I just wrapped them in a freezer bag this time. So that's the bigger toiletries bag and then in this slightly smaller one we have got another sun cream a 50 this is what I use for my face so it doesn't get burnt I don't even like to try and even tan my face because I use the Garnier Ombre Solaire um, self tanning dry mist for face. I've been using this for years. It is so good. You literally spray it on your face for three seconds and then in about three or four hours, your face is beautifully tanned and like it actually evens out your skin tone as well. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it does for me and I love it. I feel so much confident not wearing makeup when I know that I've sprayed my face with this. So I do highly recommend, especially if you have a very pale face like I do. We've got my daily foaming facial wash. So I finally moved away from face wipes. I'm doing good things for my skin finally. I just use the clean and clear foaming face wash. So this is what I use to take off my makeup and also in the morning just cleansing my face. This stuff is really, really good. My mum got me this for my birthday not too long ago. It's a clear hair and scalp protector, SPF 30. So it's basically sun cream for your scalp if you ever get a burnt scalp. And I just thought that's a brilliant idea because I do often get a burnt scalp, especially if I'm doing something like surfing and I'm out in the water. So yeah, bringing that along and I thought that would be good. We've got my face moisturizer and also an eye renewal gel. My first time using this, but I thought I don't want no eye wrinkles. I'm already starting to get them and I don't want them to get worse. I've got some bug spray, which I will definitely need. I've got a little hair serum so that my head is not completely frazzled every single time that I wash it. I've also put in here some travel wash. 
This I'm mainly just going to use for emergencies if I'm not able to do any washing for a week but I just need to wash like my underwear then I can do this just like in a bowl with warm water I can just wash the absolute essentials and finally just another little freezer bag really random but I plan on using this I'm not too sure why I've put it in this bag but I plan on using this for my wet swimwear I'm hoping that most days after I've been swimming I'll be able to hang up my swimwear so that it dries but if there's a case where I've been in the water and then I need to pack up and go straight away this freezer bag is what I will be putting the wet stuff in so that it doesn't make everything else really wet and then hopefully as soon as I'm able to dry it out I can. And then my final toiletries bag is literally just my makeup bag. I don't bring too much. I don't wear much when I'm backpacking if I'm honest. I've just got foundation, concealer, mascara, uh, eyebrow pencil, bronzer and highlighter and I think that's it. Oh and also in there we've got some little nail scissors and some tweezers. And that is all of the toiletries. So now I'm going to move on to first aid. I always always carry around this little first aidy kit so I'm going to tell you everything that's in here. I do keep a couple of my first aidy bits in my bum bag so that it's really accessible. I also carry a main bag like this with emergency items. So I'll tell you what I've got in this bag. Some of the items are a little bit random but all necessary I think. The first thing I've got is body tape, tip tape. Yes it's not first aid but I thought this was a really good place to put it if I'm wearing a top with no bra for whatever reason and I don't want my boobs to sag. I'll keep that with me. Got a packet of pocket tissues. I have a few Diarolite packet powders. These are excellent if you've had diarrhea or if you've been sick or if you're just really hungover, you stick these um, in your water and it basically just replenishes the electrolytes in your body and it just makes you feel a lot better and more energized. I've got some wax strips for my face. This is just for my upper lip. I always do that myself. I've got some regular plasters and I've got some blister plasters. Obviously all of this stuff comes in the boxes but I will take it out of the box and just have the packets of whatever to put in this bag. As for medication, day and night nurse, this is the best cold and flu medication that you can get. You need to get it over the counter, but it's so effective. I highly recommend giving it a go. I've got Imodium. These are anti-diarrhea tablets. Hopefully I won't be getting diarrhea, but you never know. It's good to have these things. I've got some double strength ibuprofen. So these are 400 milligrams and the best pain relief if you literally have any kind of pain. I've also got some hay fever tablets. I've got a stash of condoms. Don't be shy with this. It's so important to look after your sexual health. Even when you're traveling, I feel like a lot of people forget about this, but please don't make sure you've got condoms condoms with you boys and girls. I have anti-sand cream which is what you put on your mosquito bites after you've been bitten and it relieves you from the itching and makes the swelling go down a bit so I really highly recommend this stuff. I've got some like body tape which is basically to hold down your plasters. I found that when I put plasters like especially if it's on my toe or on my feet they just always fall off and so I've got tape to hold it down and finally in here I've just got some hair ties and hair grips I always keep a hair tie on my hand which is the one that I mainly use but you know spare ones this one always gets lost at some point so that is the first aid bag like I said not every bit is first aid but it just all goes really nicely into this bag now we're moving on to the electrical so I keep all of my little bitty electricals in this plastic bag here it's slightly bigger than the first aid bag so in here I've got things like my GoPro accessories I've got the stick, I've got a head mount, I've got the dive casing, I've got a tripod mount, I've also got the attachment which supports my GoPro dome so I'm also going to be bringing this with me. This is the device that allows me to get uh, photographs and videos over and under the water at the same time. It's really really cool. And also in this bag I've put a bunch of padlocks, this is for the hostel lockers but also my baggage whenever I can lock it up and it's appropriate to I will do that. I've also put in this bag, I don't know where I got this from but it's kind of like a thin wire which is very very strong and also a carabiner and I just thought if I need to attach anything to the outside of my bag for whatever reason or just attach things together I find myself always needing to do these kind of things um, then I can they're just really easy to transport and also this is a bit odd I've got three shower caps in here I just bought them as a group of three today from Superdrug and um, I saw this as a hack online um, this is gonna be for my shoes when they're dirty and I need to put them in my bag I'm just gonna stick them inside a shower cap and then they're not gonna make the rest of my stuff dirty and they're not going to make my bag dirty as well and they're really easy to transport I thought that was a really nice idea so that's what we've got in the clear bag and then in this other small packing cube I'm going to put my slightly bigger electricals um, things like my chargers essentially so I do keep all of my camera chargers in my main bag I just don't have room for them in my day bag and it would make it really heavy as well uh, so this one is my, whoop, this one's my Canon G7X charger. This one is my Lumix GH5 charger, which I'll put in here for 
packing purposes, but I'll need to take that out and charge my camera this evening. I normally have my phone charger in my bum bag, but this is a spare phone charger. I've got my GoPro charger as well as my Fitbit charger. Oh yeah, guys, I got a new Fitbit. I got the Charge 3 and I love it. Oh my God, counting steps is so fun. My GoPro is gonna be going in my day bag, so I'm not too sure why that's here, but um, I've got my floaty handle stick GoPro thing which can also go in here, as well as my adapters. Now <laughs> in every single country that I'm going, it has different sockets, which is a little bit frustrating. I think the European plug one was for Indonesia. And this is a plug which you can twist here and here, and that should support both the Philippines and Australia, which is good. And I found somewhere in my room, the perfect adapter for all of these things. So it has the European um, socket. And then if you just go like this, it turns into Australia, and then you can twist it that way, Philippines. How perfect is that? This is literally perfect for my trip. And the other big electrical thing that I am bringing, which I can't exactly show you right now because I'm using it for my lights, but I'll try and show you real quick. Can you see that? It's basically a multi plug thing. It has four plug sockets and then two USB ones. So hopefully most of the time, I'll only need to use my one adapter to stick that thing into the wall and then I can charge all my things at once just using that one socket. Perfect. So yeah, that's my second electrical spec. So we've got this one and this one. And the final thing to show you, we are almost there, is shoes. So I'm gonna be wearing my Nike trainers on the plane. They're gonna be obviously my trainers for the trip if I do any um, intense hiking or anything where I need closed toed shoes. They are my only closed toed shoes. I've got Javiana flip flops, just one pair. Um, and I've also got these hiking sandals. I found them really useful the last time I was in a hot country and doing hiking and things. They are perfect for hiking, but when it's really, really hot and you don't wanna wear your trainers. They're also really good if you're gonna go in the water as well, because that's exactly what they're designed for. Now, the one pair of shoes that I am missing is like a nice, comfy pair of sandals, which will basically be my everyday shoes. I had the most perfect pair in Greece and I lost them on the last night. I don't even know how. So I need to buy a new pair. I couldn't really find any in England that I liked. So hopefully in my first couple of days in Melbourne, I'm gonna be buying some new sandals and they are gonna be my final pair of shoes. So now, ladies and gentlemen, it is a case of getting all of this stuff into my Osprey backpack. So the first thing that I need to do is take out the pillows. Okay, I don't exactly know my strategy yet, so we're just gonna go with the flow and uh, see how we go. I'm gonna start with these biggest clothing ones to pop in the main section. I'm thinking that the main section is basically just gonna be all of my clothes and then all the pockets around the outside is where we're gonna start dotting other things around. My swimwear and then my underwear pouches. Now that is quite full actually. So I'm gonna start putting things in other areas and let's see how we go. This front one here is quite flat and this is quite flat. So I'm wondering whether that will slide nicely into there. That was the miscellaneous bag going in the front pocket there. Yeah, that's nice. I also like the idea of having my Mac on the outside at the front as well. This backpack is so big, it's making me so happy. Now on the bottom, I haven't packed my toiletries yet, so I'm thinking maybe to stick that big bag in there, as well as this bag, and then hopefully my shoes will fit in here as well. Okay, my big bag's gonna have to go in there, but this slightly smaller toiletries bag, and I think my makeup bag, is gonna have to go in the top. But my shoes do fit in there with my big bag. I think that bottom section is actually designed for um, a sleeping bag, like when you're going hiking and stuff. But I'm not bringing a sleeping bag with me because I'll be staying in hostels and whatnot for the most part. Okay, perfect, moving on. So we're sticking this toiletries bag in the top as well as the makeup bag. Oh yeah, that fits really easily. And I really wanted to put my electricals in this top compartment because I just wanted them to be accessible even when nothing else in the bag is open. So I'm thinking in the inside pocket of this top compartment, I'm gonna put the first aid bag. So there's two zips here. There's one at the very top and I'm going to put my waterproof case for the whole thing into there, because I just think that's practical. And then there's the bigger one, and this is where I'm gonna put my electricals. So, this bag with the smaller electricals in, whoop, bye. And then this bag 
where the uh, things like my chargers and whatnot are in here. You're gonna zip up, yas, yas queen. Oh, okay, there's one thing I've forgotten. My dome needs to fit in here as well. Let's have a think. I mean, I guess I could just stick it in here as well. I'd be intrigued to know how heavy this is actually. All right, stick that there. Make sure it's nice and tight and secure. And then it's important to pull these guys down on the side so that it's not um, like loose and flabby. No one likes to be loose and flabby. <laughs> not even backpacks. Normally you can, yeah, you can tighten these on the side as well. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm going to put it on. Ah! Oh, beautiful. Oh my God, and that just tightens so nicely around my waist. When I pick it up, I'm like, oh, that's quite heavy. And then when I stick it on my back, I'm like, it feels pretty weightless. Here we go. This is the look. I love how high above my head it goes. It's like another head. I need to like stick some ears on it or something. Uh, I might need to tighten it so it doesn't go uh, like that. Is that better? Ah, oh, yeah, that's a bit better. So it's not like leaning out as much. I didn't really leave much room though, did I? It's quite full. So if I buy new things, actually to be fair, it's, if I buy new things, it's fine because there is actually more room in the main Pack. The packing cubes that I've already got have got room to put more clothes in. I think, anyway. That's my justification. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! Now, I'm gonna be making a vlog of my journey to Melbourne, and in that video, you'll see what I'm wearing on the plane, because if you think I've missed a couple of things, like, Christiane, you're gonna get freezing, I'm gonna be wearing them on the plane. So make sure you watch that vlog if you think I've missed anything. Also, if you haven't already seen it, I recently made a video of what's in my day backpack. So the bag that's gonna be coming on my front, accompanying me with this bag, as well as my bum bag, I made a video oh, just two weeks ago about what I've packed in there. So again, if you think I've missed anything, hopefully it's in there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it's given you some ideas for your own packing or maybe just inspired for your next backpacking adventure. I cannot believe I'm going in the morning for seven months as well that's mad like I don't think you can ever really prepare yourself for heading away for such a long time it's one of those things it's like just get outside of your comfort zone and do it if you know that you really want to do it but you're like oh, I don't know and like if it's the right time honestly there is never a right time to go backpacking everyone always has to make some sort of compromise so just bear that in mind when you are planning your trip and the things that you want to do I don't know what else I want to say um, but I will see you guys in Melbourne Bye!